apologize, unfortunately, we couldn't play you Fashion Mix. Of course, we'll be bringing it again your way next week. But for now, it's time for us to interview with our very spicy guest. He's become an eye candy in the industry. Mawuli Peter Gavo, born in Accra, Ghana, but has now become in Nigeria. It's good Full to have glow, you. Actually. <laughs> you know, you're actually, you should, they should give you PVC. You should be voting by tomorrow. At this point, I might as well, yeah. <laughs> if you were to be a Nigerian name, what would it be? Uh... Something with one of those like uh, GB names, like Bobo, 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 become this huge star that you are. I, I, I love the fact that you, you did that. You are a huge star. No, 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 yeah. To be honest, those... let's not play down. No, but the story, I, I don't know if there is a story behind it, to be honest, because it just happened on its on its own. But um, long story short, I moved uh, back to Ghana because I, I, I was in the States before. I moved to Ghana. I thought I was going to be doing banking, finance, and everything. I was working, regular job as an accountant. Uh, I had done some modeling when I was in New York, so it was like, part-time as a joke it wasn't supposed to be a serious thing but the pictures were out there so I got to Ghana and I think some people saw the pictures they assumed that I was this like model who was doing like a bunch of stuff so they hired me for this martini gig which ended up being like this huge thing both in Ghana and Nigeria so I had to keep doing both of it and I couldn't handle my job and that gig at the same time so I left my job and I was like oh, I'm, I'm gonna go back to the job once I'm done with this uh, with this little uh, campaign but uh, you About never three went years back. later, yeah, yeah. three years later, yeah, we're still here. So, random, but um, now I live in Nigeria. So, yeah. how's Nigeria been for you? Nigeria has been amazing. I can't even lie. I can't even lie. Uh, I feel like the only way you can be successful here is if the people allow you to be successful. Everyone knows that Nigerians can either make or break you. They can take you from a superstar back to an up and coming, or from an up and coming <laughs> all the way. No, no, it's true. You need the support of the people. Mm. Um, so I think I have been really lucky. Like Nigerians have been pretty fantastic to me. I have a, a ton of friends. This is like my second home now. So everyone here is like my pretty much. And like you've been living here for like three years. About two years now. Yeah, okay. this year's this year is going to be two years. Wow. Okay, yeah. let's, let's talk about your career. Now, you took a dive, you took a risk, you know, just like our earlier yeah. guests. You took a risk, risk living your job where mm -hmm. you had security, you had, yes. you know, this nine to five job, yes. and you took a risk to pursue your talent. Yes. And now I want us to look back and see if you have any regrets, anything you wish you did differently, and some of the lessons you've learned along the way, really. Zero regrets, absolutely not. Um, mainly be. Things I wish I could have done differently, I don't think so. Re um, mistakes, absolutely. But then those mistakes sort of led me to different things, and I had some great experiences from that. So I, because of the good experiences, I wouldn't want to take that away, so I'm going to have to keep the mistakes. So no regrets whatsoever. I am glad that I took this path. It's, it's a lot more interesting. It's a lot more lucrative. Um, it's a lot more... Uh, it's, it's, it's better for me as a person, mm. you know, like working for other people and everything it works for some people some people have nothing you can go to the, go to an office every day and like they they're really good at their jobs and everything if you can't connect to that sort of lifestyle it's better for you to find an alternative um rather than be unhappy in a job for the rest of your life so okay so i saw mawuli gave in um chief daddy the chief, the daddy, chief daddy was amazing yes yeah. and i also saw you in one of the indani series yes and rumor has it now yeah. the thing is there's this thing about you being Playboy figure and <laughs> fine, tall, dark, handsome, uh -huh. typical. Tell us about the Mawuli Gavo that people don't get to see, that they should actually look forward to knowing. I think it's actually better that they know the, the person that they think they know, like the that kind of person, because the actual me is way too boring to um to to be exciting enough to be on TV and to be doing all these things on TV. When you say boring, what do you mean? Boring in terms of I don't, uh, there's not a lot of things that I'm, um, I'm into. I'm passionate about music, about sports, and about uh, film, which is, which is what I work in. But outside of that, there's, there's nothing else. So I, d I don't go out. I'm not, I'm not much of an outgoing person. I'm either home watching football in the gym, reading, doing my other work or, any, or anything. So there's nothing exciting that I can reveal that, oh, I'm this guy who does, like, break dancing in the back like, in the, like, <laughs> on the weekends and everything. Yeah, I don't, have, I don't have anything to offer from that side. So 
you're better off taking what you see and enjoy it. Mm, yeah. We see. Let's talk about your obvious good looks. Wow. Have you ever had situations where you your talent was downplayed because of your looks? Uh, no, because I feel like in every situation, all you can do is put the best that you have at any given point forward and everything also happened the way it, it's 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 meant to happen so i didn't at any given point my talent where it was expressed was exactly what it was so it really depends on how people see it you know some people might think oh this guy is he's good looking and everything but they will say oh you were fantastic in that role some people might still think you're good looking or not think you were fantastic in that role there's you can't really control that part. All you can do is do your best, and then everything else will... Um, it's, not, it's, it's not up to me to decide whether someone looks at me as good-looking or talented. That, that one is up to you. So I, I can't really control that. All right. Speaking about that one being up to people, not controlling what people think mm -hmm. about you, have you gotten attacks yet? Of course, I'm sure you've gotten social media criticism and people, you know, saying things that you'd really, you'd rather not hear uh -huh. or you'd rather not read about. How do you handle them? Maybe we should start by asking what's the worst thing you've ever heard being said about you and how do you handle this? Uh, I wouldn't really say it's the worst thing because most times when people say things about me, it makes me laugh. Like, it's, it's all... It's amusing to see how intense we get about other people's lives. Like, I, I, I hate that guy, or like, I really love that guy. It's, it's interesting how we connect. The worst thing, I don't know, uh, someone probably, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it can't be bad because it was a good thing for me. They were complaining that uh, the ladies liked me when like I had my shirt off in the film. And I was like, well, do you have to <laughs> forgive me for being fit? So that doesn't even get to me, but let me give you a, Perfect example. I don't like Nic Nicolas Cage. I don't like him. I don't think he's, he's, a, he's a very good actor. I don't think, uh, I think he's pretty terrible. Does Nicolas Cage know me? Absolutely not. Will he ever know me? Probably not. Do my thoughts affect his life, his success, his riches, his wealth in any way? No. Definitely not. He's probably driving a really nice car right now, living in a pretty nice house. And so that's, that, that's the way I look at it, you understand? The same way I'm, I'm in my corner saying, oh, I don't like Nicholas Cage. There's going to be somewhere sitting in some corner saying, oh, they don't like me or anything. Either way. You're definitely ready for this stardom life. <laughs> you came ready. <laughs> Either way. I'm were you so ready in the process life. or you were always ready? I think I've always been ready. I've always, I've always known that I could do almost anything. I say almost anything because we all need to know our limitations, but we also need to know how much of a reach you can you can you can have so i would watch tv and i would watch like people hosting these shows and everything and i didn't necessarily want to do that but i, I always knew that oh i could do that like yeah if, if i if i really hunker down i i could do that so when the opportunity came I, I wasn't like doubting like oh my god can i do it can i can i know i was just like hey you know what it's it's here oh yeah let's go so i just heard you mentioning um women like you when you take your shirt off now how do you handle women because i know they call me a lot a lot that is actually the most fascinating that's that's why i said it's it's better to keep what you perceive than the reality because the reality is so much more boring mm. um he was a old guy you didn't finish the women or like like you must be getting all these girls and everything it's it's one thing to have messages on social media but or like people messaging you on instagram 99.9 .9 percent of the time it would never get to real life one i'm i'm, I'm, I'm always on at work or i'm at home mm. chances of meeting random people not not that often so yes, you can have admirers on social media. Oh, I, I like you, I love you. And if it's, if it's a nice comment, I would always reply. But apart from that, it, it doesn't really go far. Okay, we're going to try to see if we can get to dig a little deeper to get to know the Maoli that he's trying to keep away from all of us. We're going to know that Maoli today. But before then, very quickly, we know you're not just an actor. Mm -hmm. You're a TV presenter as well. Yes. If you had to choose one and do one for the rest of your life, what will it be? Be truthful. Would not, I've, I would never be able to choose. Never. Why? Because one feeds into the other. I am a TV presenter who does movies. So that it's, it's like 50 50. Yeah. Let me even give you an escape route. Mm -hmm. An escape route would mm -hmm. be that every day you're on TV presenting is also some form of acting. So at the end of the day, they're one and the same thing. Pow, pow, pow. I'm serious, Ollie. So now That's that I've I'm been saying. able to help you with an escape, maybe I should be able to ask this question and you must answer. Wow. Tell us about your love life. Love life? Yeah. Oh, I have somebody special. Yes, oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah. What a cry. How was your Valentine's Day? Non existent.
they why? don't understand. What do you mean? Why? Why non-existent? I was on set. I was shooting the whole day. But did you go out of your way to do something sweet? No. Mauli, you don't look like that kind of guy. Yeah. So what's your take on Valentine's? Valentine's in itself? Oh, we'll celebrate it later. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be on the main day. Okay. Mm -hmm. If if possible on that day, but to be honest, yesterday was was a ridiculous. Hectic. Yeah, I was on set till like ten or so. Oh, yeah, totally understandable. Crazy. So every yeah, time we have guests, we try to you know pick out words of inspiration and words of motivation because mm -hmm. I'm sure you get tons of DMs saying I want you to be my mentor, I want to do what you're doing, I want to be where you are. So you ha if you had the opportunity to speak to somebody you know who is looking up to you and wants to be at the position where you are, what are the words you'd say to him or her? Uh, chase your dreams, but secure money mm. oh you want me to tell them directly yo chase your dreams but it has to be financially feasible that that is honestly the best advice i think anyone has, has ever ever given me mm. if you want to be an artist you want to be you want to be a wine taster do whatever you need to do but if you need to sell bread on the side to pay your bills you have to do that as well because chasing your dreams is not a reward in itself you have to reward yourself as you chase your dreams all the best to you. Fantastic. And, uh, all the best. Yeah. Mm. You know, thank you so much for joining us thank and sharing you. your wise words of wisdom. Hopefully, um, when we have you again, we can then get to play games with you. But not play games, that sounds wrong. <laughs> Let's wrap up the show. What <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.